Welcome everyone to the 2021 draft order determination. So we ended off last season in the first round of the playoffs. That's when the pause happened. But this, the week never finished, so Yahoo said, screw it. However you finish in the regular season, that's how we're going to give out the awards. But for the purposes of determining the draft, I don't think that's entirely fair because the way I do it historically is that the person who say finished first, they would have the worst pick. But we don't really know if that person would have finished first. So we're going to make a playoff bracket. And those six picks are going to be shuffled around. And what I did was um, if you had a bye week, then we would have assumed that it's more likely that you would have had that first pick. So you're going to get a lower uh, chance at getting one of these guys' picks, if that makes sense. But it'll be a little more clear you know, once I start uh, pulling numbers out of the random number generator. Um, and then, as per usual, all new players get the same percent chance at the first overall as someone who had finished uh, just out of the playoffs. Um, all right, without further ado, we're going to pick out uh, pick number five, and then we'll go six, and then we'll go to ten. All right? So we'll set this back to ten. All right? And pick number five goes to... This number oh I should get it. Alright, pick number six. Going to Edward. Pick number seven. Going to Ali. So that means he's gonna end up moving up because he only had a ten percent chance, you know? He should have been pick number nine had it been based off of uh the way Yahoo had it. Alright, here we got next. Three. That was already given. Pick eight. It goes to Kyle, so Kyle getting that eighth overall pick, which likely would have been true because Kyle was beating me uh, already, if I remember correctly, in the first round of the playoffs. Like he would have already had me that beaten that week, and then he would have moved on to the final four. So that, that I guess is appropriate. Five was already given. Two already given. Was looking for a one, a nine, or a ten. Oh, a nine. All right, I think that's fair because you know, uh, Gennady was had such an insane team last season. If anybody remembers, so I I think it was likely that he was gonna end up winning it all anyway, and so I think it's appropriate. But now what we're gonna do for the elimination bracket, we're gonna set this to a thousand, and then whoever number you see first, that's the person who gets the first overall pick, and because our league is fairly small, um. The numbers just, I guess, look slightly strange, but I think it's appropriate, you know. So, Larry, 50% chance at first overall. What could possibly go wrong? Mike, buddy, buddy, you traded away every pick in the known universe. And this is all you got to show for it? Not not even in, in the playoff bracket? Not even a pick in the first, I don't know, like 10 rounds, something ridiculous like that? So if you get first overall, I'm sure you're going to be hitting yourself upside the head. So Kyle, I know I know you're looking at Mike's pick and licking your lips right now. And you can get something real juicy. Without right, further ado, four eight seven. Oh, the first overall pick is under Mike's name. Wow, wow, buddy. While wow, you kept those picks, you you probably could have built a real good team here. Wow, uh, <laughs> you can't make that up. All right, and who gets uh? Second overall, all right, no surprise there. Now, just to make things a little simpler, I'm gonna just narrow this down to uh, 250. And uh, you see the outcomes here. And third overall pick goes to Shijid. All right, and that's four slot. So Kyle will give me a little scouting report on Taylor beforehand. This is a pretty knowledgeable guy when it comes to hockey. So I think nerfing him down to a uh, four. The RNG guys, I think, maybe just are looking out for us today. All right, so just a few more things to announce before we conclude this presentation. Um, as, uh, as I think it's just fair in the league, eliminated teams should be locked. You know, that way no one's just dropping players and screwing up the league for the rest of the players. For some reason, that wasn't automatically set, but it is now. The trade deadline, I made it the furthest date back possible without eliminating the uh, de deadline altogether, and that will be April 22nd, which 
I don't remember what day of the week that is, but let's see here. It's looking like a Thursday. All right, fair enough. I think that'd be. I think it's pretty close to the end of the season anyway, so I think that's a uh, pretty fair. And then, so I know that the rosters are a little bit expanded for this season because they're anticipating more injuries than usual, just in case COVID or or whatnot comes up. So I'm getting more injury slot. And this isn't a typical IR slot. So apparently Yahoo has a set setting where you can have uh, a slot for things like day to day, out, but not active is a different category altogether. And I don't think it falls under this umbrella. But this umbrella also includes things like IR as well. So it's technically an extra IR slot, but it's also applicable for day to day and out. So I hope that, um, I think it's very fair given the conditions of this season. Anyway, that concludes the 2021 draft order presentation.